Former Vice President Joe Biden's life hit a tragic chord in May 2015, when his oldest son, Beau Biden, died from brain cancer at age 46. Mourning alongside Joe was Beau's wife of 13 years, Hallie Biden, and Beau's younger brother, Hunter Biden. Amid all of the heartache, news broke in March 2017 that Hunter and Hallie had struck up a romantic relationship. Hunter was recently single, and Hallie was seemingly ready to find love again after the loss of her husband. After two years of dating, Hunter and Hallie reportedly called it quits on their relationship in April 2019, just days after Joe announced his 2020 presidential bid. Here are some things you may not know about Hunter's split from Beau's widow. Although the public's response to Hunter and Hallie's initial relationship was intense, their breakup was reportedly drama-free. Page Six, the first outlet to report the split, cited a source who said the breakup was amicable. So even if there is anything juicy going on behind the scenes, they seem to be committed to keeping things civil in public. It's possible the exes parted ways because they simply grew apart. But regardless of what happened, an insider called the situation a private family matter. Considering there are children involved, Hallie has two kids while Hunter has three, there's a good chance their parents are eager to protect them from public scrutiny. It'd be easy to assume Hunter and Hallie's families pressured them to end their romance, but that's reportedly not the case. Shortly after news of the romance broke, Joe gave his blessing in a public statement. According to Page Six, he said, "...we are all lucky that Hunter and Hallie found each other as they were putting their lives together again after such sadness. They have mine and Jill's full and complete support, and we are happy for them." Hunter echoed the sentiment with his own statement, saying in part, "...Hallie and I are incredibly lucky to have found the love and support we have for each other in such a difficult time, and that's been obvious to the people who love us most. We've been so lucky to have family and friends who have supported us every step of the way." It's possible that Hunter's relationship with Hallie never even stood a chance. The drama all started shortly after Hunter and Hallie rented a home together in Maryland in August 2017. Hunter explained in a July 2019 profile with The New Yorker, "...all we got was sh from everybody, all the time. It was really hard. And I realized that I'm not helping anybody by sticking around." It's unclear who Hunter and Hallie were harassed by and whether their family was included in the backlash. But there's no doubt the romance generated countless negative reactions on social media and in the press. So in early 2018, he relocated to Los Angeles. Out of all the reasons for Hunter and Hallie's split, the June 2019 report that Hunter fathered a child with a woman named London Roberts might take the cake. Roberts' legal rep told the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, "...this is a parenting and child support issue between her and Mr. Biden. She really does not want this to be a media spectacle. She does not want this to affect Joe Biden's campaign. She just wants this baby to get financial support from the baby's father." Hunter denied Roberts' allegations in August 2019, just one year after the child was reportedly born. But according to People magazine in November 2019, Hunter was allegedly identified identified as the baby's father with a DNA test. Roberts claims her baby was conceived when she was taking classes at George Washington University in Washington, D.C., which is close to Hunter's former home in Maryland. This would have been in November or December 2017. In May 2019, Hunter got hitched in Los Angeles to a South African woman named Melissa Cohen, according to TMZ. He's wonderful and caring and kind, and he very much cares about his country. It's not yet clear how the lovebirds met or whether the rest of the Biden family attended the wedding, but it looks like Cohen's family approves of the union. Melissa's brother, Garen Cohen, wrote to Page Six in an email, "...we are all very happy for Melissa and wish her and Hunter all the best for the future. Melissa is an amazing person, and we all love and adore her dearly. Looking forward to meeting and getting to know my new brother-in-law, hopefully soon." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.